Hey, I'm John Hines, and I'm here with my good buddy, Ryan Burt. And uh, today, Ryan is going to show us some great exercises using the Jungle Gym XT. Ryan, so what do you got to show us with upper body first off? I got two trainers here. We got Pat and Shannon. They're here to demonstrate a push-pull exercise for us. We're going to do a single arm inside row with an opposite arm press. One will be in a tabletop bridge. The other one's going to be in a squat position. Please show us what you're doing, because I, I saw you do this earlier. I love this exercise. Okay, we're going to start shoulder width apart with the feet, good square base. Uh, left arm is going to be an inside row, right arm is going to be an overhead extension at that same time. So we're going to drop into the squat, light in the hand, we want to move from the shoulder blade, deep squat, inside row and press. Now to add resistance, we can walk the feet forward, there you go, good. We want to make sure we're getting good movement out of the shoulder blade and good extension on the shoulder. So Shannon's getting a lot of benefit here. She's getting a lot of leg exercise, but she's really focusing on a chin-up, a one-arm chin-up, assisted chin-up, and a press with one arm. So what this does is cause a lot of confusion and stability throughout the whole body and a lot of strength through the whole body. You want to make sure that you do both sides of this exercise in equal amounts. This is a nice full body exercise, Ryan. I like this one a lot. Another one that you might want to do the slightly different would be a rowing motion, right? Yes, we'll go to a tabletop bridge and then we'll switch to a chest press. Is that what so, you're gonna have Pat do here? We'll have Pat demonstrate that one. So a nice flat bridge to his hips to his shoulders. Again, inside chin up row, chest press at the top. Good, trying to maintain that spine. We do want rotation out of the core, nice and flat through the shoulders and the hips. So really stabilizing at the bottom of the exercise. Now for those of you that were looking at earlier when uh, we did the, some of the beginner exercise, we were doing a one arm assisted called an open up. What Ryan's doing here is just adding some resistance to that opened up hand and developing a lot more strength. So Pat's getting a lot more pull here, but now he's getting a lot more push to her here as well. Nice and you definitely right want to balance it out and hit both sides an equal amount of reps. Nice exercise. What, what Ryan was doing there, he's, he's taking it out, Pat's ability to rotate, which makes the exercise slightly easier. If he doesn't rotate at all, it's going to make him develop a lot more core strength and it's a lot harder to do this exercise. So, I like that cue as well, Ryan, very nice. Now, Ryan, we're gonna just do straight up pushing, but I really like what you did. It's full body, big time. Tell us about what you're gonna do. We're, we're gonna work on the anterior side of the body. So we're gonna be in a push-up position. We're also gonna come out of an elbow bridge into a hip flexion. So we're gonna start with a push-up, and she's gonna do hip flexion out of that push-up, drawing the knees in, lifting up through that lower lumbar, and now going into an elbow tricep bridge. All right, coming up out of that bridge, back to her push-up hip flexion. A lot of movement, constant movement causes constant adaptation. She's developing a lot of stability here in her upper body as well, getting the basic strength exercise for the upper body and the big time core constantly because all of this movement. Nice exercise, right? Main thing is we maintain that lower lumbar nice and high. We call it cat back, keep it flexed up. As soon as cat that back. back starts to dip, we want to take it out. I like that. So now we're going to move on to Pat. He's going to add in a little instability by using a BOSU ball, taking it up a progression. So we're going to do a push-up pike on the first one, elevating the hips, flexing the toes up so we get that contraction all the way through the lower abs. Good. And on the next one, he's going to start to tilt the handles, keeping the legs stationary. Good. Coming out of that side to side, keeping that back nice and flat, spines in neutral. Now, now, is he cheating this exercise because he came up a little bit, not making it as hard as he could do if he was lower, maybe? Oh, yes. When oh, there lower, we go. There we go. I knew he'd take the challenge. And let's slow down that tilt. So slow those arms down side to side. Show a lot of control. Now come all the way out of it. That's your break. We're going to drop down again and hold. Bring it up about three inches. There you go. Now handle the handle. Try to touch that handle to the ground. Now, ideally, when you're doing this, you don't want the body moving at all. Correct. You just want those, the, make that ball move and try and keep that body as stable as possible while you're doing this exercise. Pat's really engaged through his whole body, but he's still getting a lot of strength work done by doing those pushing movements. Awesome work. Low back's always the tell on this one. Once the low back starts to yeah. sag, time to, time to stop the progression. So with any of these exercises, make sure that you're really uh, attentive to the lower back and the neck, you'll see a lot of collapse in those areas, especially on the more advanced exercises. We want to keep the neutral neck, neutral lower back so we don't have any collapse on it. And that takes a ton of integrity throughout the whole body. Okay, next Ryan is going to show us some great advanced pushing exercise for the upper body. What do you got here, Ryan? We're going to take you through a progression from a dip 
up into a tricep hold. So we're going to get in the tricep dip position, almost like we're holding a bar. We're going to go inside dip, coming down. We're going to break this up in segments. Come up and hold, elongate that posture. Now I want you to go into a knee tuck. Good. There you go. Separate it. Back down. Tap the toes back. Back to your dip. Abs tight. We're just trying to refine this movement as we go through. Make it a little more crisp, a little more clean as we're contracting two different muscle groups. And you can see the amount of stabilization that's going on here for Shannon. Right there, that takes incredible core strength, incredible shoulder stability. Now what I want you to do right here, Shannon, is let's walk your toes up just a hair. Now, put more and more weight on your hands. Keep going and lengthen through the crown of your head. So what we want here is we want to open up at the shoulders so we don't let the body collapse. Where she's transitioning and what Ryan has her doing is, is awesome. It's a nice transition from assisted to then slowly she takes her feet all the way off the ground until it's totally unassisted. Nice. Good work. So for the next progression, we're going to take the feet out of it. So all total lower body core stabilization. We're going to stay with that same dipping motion but we're going to really incorporate the abs and hold that, that knee flexion as we go through the dip. Okay, cool. So Pat's doing a full range of motion dip here. But one thing, that, let's stop here for a second, Pat. One thing that we love about the Jungle Gym XD is we can widen it like that. So now instead of a, a webbing against your arms, now you can do a dip now, no worry about it rubbing up and down like crazy against your arms. We can even take it wider. And now, Pat, when you're coming to the top, you feel a little more horizontal adduction, right? Oh, yeah. So that's an awesome transition, and it's a great way to make a simple exercise a lot harder just by taking them a little bit wider. Okay, now Ryan's gonna show us some awesome pulling exercises from more of a beginner level to some really high ones that Pat's gonna do after Shannon does them first, right? You bet. Cool. So one thing about this is easy transition. We can just bring it right up to the top. We're in a pull-up position. So Shannon's gonna start in full extension from the arms. She's gonna do a straight leg pike, inverting her whole body using hip flexors, abs, and showing control at the top. So she's gonna straighten everything out, good stretch on the shoulders. Now we're gonna crunch in, good tuck on the way down, showing that core strength, nice tap on the floor, bring it through one more time. Tuck in nice and tight, push through, exhale and reach. There you go. Control now, it on the way down. She's doing this really, really slow, very hard exercise. This is advanced for sure, to do it with a lot of control like that. That's a really good job, Shannon. That's not an easy exercise to do slow. She was trying to smile too. It's, even makes it way more harder. <laughs> so good job, Santa. So what are we gonna do next then with Pat? Um, we're gonna go to some muscle ups. Awesome. This is another another movement on the Jungle Gym XT. We're gonna widen those out a little bit, make it a little harder for Pat here. Cool. So we're gonna start out with an assisted muscle up. So you're just gonna stand and pull over. Beautiful. Now muscle ups have become extremely popular. And people all over the world and country are doing it, but one thing that I really like about this is the ability to actually do it how it's named, muscle up. Instead of kip up without using a lot of muscle, a lot of people just use a lot of speed to do this movement. This is a great opportunity to actually do it in a manner where you're purely using strength to do it. Muscle up. Uh, the one nice thing about the Jungle Gym XT is it's kind of a hybrid. You don't have to work on that angle of a triangle. You can actually widen them out, give you more resistance, um, and you can switch the angle as much as you want. So we're going to so have... So it's sort of like a hybrid of other suspension trainers and rings, you're saying? It's definitely a hybrid. So what's Pat going to do here? He's doing some bicycling up, and then he's doing a side to side. So he cycle the legs, which is big time. He's working his core big time. But also, without question, big time upper body exercise. Basically going to a one-arm chin-up hold at one point, and then all the way across, and then back up and down. Next, we're going to go to a windshield wiper. So again, a plank position, holding from suspension. Now we're going to show that core control side to side, keeping that nice parallel back flexion to the ground. Good. And stopping before we get down to the hips on the rotation. Looks great. Again, very advanced movement. You want to show control before you start adding range of motion. Nice. And then you had one more that we were going to do. It's just an old school one that we like. Simple. 
a body roll movement, but no legs. So just lift the feet up, keep the, keep the hips at about 90 degrees. You can bend your knees to make it slightly easier or go to straight leg, which makes it slightly harder. Pat gets some pretty nice range, especially after we did one of the harder ones last, which is good. But uh, he just did three very high level, advanced level Jungle Gym XT exercises. And the cool thing about this is the ability that he can move them in or apart just like that. And that's something that no other suspension trainer can do. Okay, next Ryan's gonna show us some great lower body exercises that are advanced using the Jungle Gym XT. One of the key things about it is, is the foot cuff and how easy it is to get in and out of it. Hugs the laces of the shoe and then it also blocks the heel. So it keeps you very secure while you're going through the movement. So we're gonna go from a down position on the floor all the way up into a plyometric single leg lunge. So let's have you walk it back, total control all the way through the movement. We wanna show stability. Good, we're gonna push up, drive that left heel forward, hip flexion on the way up. Good, dropping back down. Kick it back, abs tight, show that control, pulling through that hip and glute. Good, back's nice and flat, shoulders are flat. She's getting that good heel strike, telling me she's getting full range of motion on that hip and glute. That's excellent. This is a really good way to separate and find out where you're weaker in your body, because these connections all work together. And you always want to start with that weaker side first. That way we're going to keep you even when you get to the strong side. Uh, next one we're going to do is a similar movement, but now we're going to add an applied metric jump out of it. Nice. Single leg hop, good control on the way down. We're going to go slow on the way down to prove that we can stabilize. Fast contraction on the way out of the movement. There you go, perfect. And again, higher progression, he's not putting the back foot down. He's stabilizing just through that right leg. Nice now that he work. showed control, he's adding in some speed, making it even a little bit harder. I like that. Nice progression too, adding, starting with nice and slow and controlled, then adding speed as you do it. Okay, we just finished some great lower body advanced pressing exercises. Now Ryan's gonna show us some great lower body pulling exercises that are advanced. So we're gonna start with a single leg hamstring curl. First progression is we're gonna have her lift her hips about an inch off the floor, not too high. Squeezing that glute to lift the hips. Good, good ab flexion. Now we're gonna do a curl in with that knee, opposite knee suspended, holding up in the air. Good, flexing in. Good, so this is the first progression. Showing the stability in the left hip while we curl through the right hamstring. Okay, to turn this up a little bit, we're gonna come up about four inches. Four to five inches, there you go, stabilize the hips and pelvis. Good, and now straighten that left leg out to the ceiling. Good, we're gonna do that same movement, add a little more resistance with that straight leg flexion. Trying to lift those hips, keep them nice and high, there you go, abs engaged, good. Now one thing when people do this exercise, this is a hard, very hard exercise. You wanna watch that they don't overcompensate and lift from the rib cage because that'll collapse the lower back. And then they'll start really tightening up the hip, the ham, hip flexors. And, and if you lift from here, the back collapses and you can cause pain. But if you do this right with the neutral hips and keeping the ribs in a neutral position, it's gonna be pure, hard hamstring work here. And you're gonna get a really good feeling in your hips when you stand up out of this exercise. I love this one-legged exercise. Again, getting back to slow and control, checking your body alignments. Everything's gotta be in neutral before you can progress to the next one. Perfect. So we're gonna have Pat um, turn this into a plyometric movement. So nice. really long, fast, short burst exercise. Gonna lengthen and strengthen those hamstrings in a quick range of motion. So again, he wants to show stabilization before he starts the movement. Hips are up, good. Ribs are in, good. And now as he goes through, he's gonna start speeding up a little quicker each time until he's in a full plyometric hamstring curl. There we go, he's found that stability. Now he's going full extension flexion. This turnaround point right here is what makes this a powerful pulling plyometric movement. That's awesome, Pat. Now doing about 10 reps of that is pretty hardcore. So uh, he just did about 10. That's what I usually do with my athletes and stuff. We do like maybe sets of 10 of this. Focus on the speed of the movement. Once you notice you're starting to slow down on it, that's when we might stop the movement. It's just like plyometric jumps. You want that quick turnaround, right? You bet. So Definitely this... fatigue, not failure on this one. Exactly. Okay, now we've covered upper body and lower body pushing and pulling. So now, Ryan, you're gonna show us some core exercises that you guys like to do. You bet. 
One thing we like to do is elevate the feet a little bit, misdirect that hip flexor tension that we get with doing a lot of abdominal movements. So we're gonna go through a crunch. We're also gonna add abduction during that crunch. So Shannon, we're gonna have you grab the ball, flatten that lower lumbar. Let's show that control through the spine. Coming up, abduction with the hips, reaching forward. So crunch, control, bring it all the way back. Good, hips come in, control through the movement. Starting nice and slow, showing that you can control the spine through the midsection. There you go, good abduction. Now we're gonna start that abduction a little quicker. So come all the way down, add a little more speed to it. Come up quick, straight up, good. Okay, next progression, we're gonna open those hips right away. So as soon as that ball comes forward, hips go out. There we go, good. And there's three progressions to work your way up to abduction with a crunch and reach. We're gonna have him do that similar motion. We're gonna get the abduction out of the crunch, but we're gonna do a sweeping motion from one side to the other. So we're getting that straight line flexion on the crunch, coming across, leg to leg, all the way back. Now Pat's goal here is to stabilize lower from upper, so we don't wanna see that lower body moving, shifting side to side. There you go, much better. So he corrected the progression himself. We're alternating sides, so each time we're coming up to the opposite side. Ryan has something very fun for us in store here. He put up all the Jungle Gym XTs, and what, what are we gonna do here, Ryan? Because this looks pretty fun. We're, we are gonna have some fun. We're gonna go into full body suspension. So, two on the hands, two on the feet. Um, we're gonna start at the beginning progression. So, what you wanna do is start the feet a little lower than the hands. That's gonna give you a little more balance for the upper body to work through these progressions. And again, we wanna learn the body mechanics of these movements before we just jump into full suspension. So she's gonna place both hands, both feet in the Jungle Gym XT. And the first thing she's gonna start with is a kneeling push-up. So we're gonna have her go into a kneeling push-up, good angle on the low back. And now she's gonna control that pike, flexing the toes up, full extension on those hips, up nice and high, showing that functional control. We're gonna bring it back down. Good, separate that push-up to your pike. Nice. So this is a starting progression to get you into full suspension. Good. The main thing again is control. She, she's going at a nice slow pace. She's controlling each aspect of this movement. There's a whole bunch of stabilization going on here. A lot of strength work as well. This is a very big time full body exercise. So how are we gonna, what, do you, what would you do to progress this, Ryan? We're gonna bring the feet up so they're a little above the hands. Okay. And again, that's gonna bring a little more upper body tension. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have Pat do is show a good plank. Toe flexion, good. Now he's gonna drop parallel to the floor and then go into a push-up motion, right it back into that plank. So again, separating the movements but never releasing the resistance. Good control through the lower lumbar. He's holding that spine. We don't see a sag at all in the nice. low back. Good control through the toe flexion. The amount of core work here and full body stabilization is incredible. I love the fact that he's pulling all points towards the center line of the body. That is really how you engage the core maximally. Okay, we had a great time out here today with the Jungle Gym XT at Hybrid Fitness, and my good buddy Ryan Burnt did a great job showing us a whole bunch of high-level exercises with the Jungle Gym XT. I want to thank you, Shannon and Pat. You guys did an awesome job. So, um, Ryan, what do you think of the Jungle Gym XT? It's great. Uh, here at Hybrid Fitness, we love pieces of equipment like this. Again, it stepped it up to that next level. A little different than any other suspension trainer that we've had. A little better than the ring suspension. It all comes together with this one. Cool, well, appreciate it so much. He did an awesome job. We got a ton of great exercises out there for you guys, so I hope you like them. Take care. The Lifeline products, all of them. Check out lifelineusa.com.